Hello everybody, it's Michelle Kale with Pet Portrait Fun and today we're going to be doing um, a dog from the shelter. I had originally drew this for uh, Paper Pappas, which was going to the No Suffer Society. We were doing a, a, a whole opportunity to get the dogs out of the shelter and have people paint pictures of the pets from the shelter. So I drew this is Barbie here. She was a Pitbull Terrier mix from New Newark, New Jersey. And um, she was found from Pet Finder. So the customer found her. And she is now adopted. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a little uh, paint your pet party. So when I take your little um, watercolor kit and you're going to wet your paints. So Barbie is a tan dog. So what I always say is um, for tan, you're going to mix a little bit of the orange, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of the brown and a lot of water. You want to make it like a make it like a nice pool of water for yourself. And you don't just go in and I always do like a light colored dog like this. I'm just gonna kind of fill in all that light air. She's gonna white up on her nose like a little um star up uh, I don't know what they call that. Um I think if they call it a star on a horse, but I don't know what they call it on a dog when it's a little point up the nose like that. But um so I'm just going to fill all this tan. See, she's got white on her chest, too. So take that tan. Just fill in all this area here. She's got white paws. Leave those white. I'll show you how to do the white in a second. And we're going to do a fun color in the background. Actually, I want to show you guys how to do a rainbow background. That'll be fun. So, all right. So hope everybody's doing well. I have my wet paper towel. That's my... Um, a little eraser, you know, just kind of like you can dab it. I realize I, I made that white, you're supposed to dab it a little bit. So color it all in here. Keep your paintbrush wet and your paint press. There you go. So um, we're all in quarantine still, and um, you know, we want to do something fun, maybe a little paint your pet party. Why not? It's it's nice to do something fun and not think about all the negative stuff that's going on outside. It's we're all I hope all you and your your uh, family and loved ones are safe. And uh, so now we're just gonna so see how we're just filling all this with the tan going around filling in. So the ears are pink. So there's a nice pink here, there, and the tongue. So I'm gonna show you how to do the pink in a second. I just want to make sure that that doesn't drip a little bit. And this, she still has some of this tan on this side too. So you want to fill all that tan wherever she has the tan in. She got to fill in. That's a happy, that's a happy little pit bull, or like we say, burrow breed. Because nobody wants to say hey, the pit bulls get a bad, bad rap. They're actually uh, some of the most fun, goofy clown. They call it the clown, clown uh, dog. You know, I like, I like the. I like clowns. Some people don't like clowns, but they're so sweet. They just they just want to be loved, and they think they're a, a small dog. They want to just jump right in your lap. <laughs> so, all right. So now I'm gonna go into the pink. So the pink, you're just gonna take a little bit of that red. The red is pretty bright, so I'm adding a lot of water, and just I'm gonna just kind of notice how I just went into the nether. I was just. This is your mixing palette. You always want to mix your colors on your, your paint palette. You can use a, um, a plain um, white plate to mix your colors or not. So there's that pink. I just added a lot of water. Don't worry about using your white. I, I never use the white. In, uh, to make things white, you want to just keep water as your white. Keep adding water to your... See how that dripped off the side? That's okay. So I'm just going to kind of... I'll just kind of blur that out with a little bit of water. And what happens when I when I do the background later, when we do that fun rainbow background, I'll show you in a second. So now, Barbie has, oh, the pink. We got to do the pink also in the tongue. So fill that whole tongue in. Yeah. That's a big tongue. You know what? She, her co her um, collar is red, too. So I'm going to kind of pump that up a little bit. And uh, fill in that color as well. So notice that everything's pretty light. I have a lot of water in my color right now because you don't want to start off watercolor like dark right away. 
you want to you want to build up the color because it's easier because the background the paper is your white so you want to just build everything light and go forward and the darkest is what you put on last like the nose and the eyes and everything I'm gonna put that on last so I'm just pulling that so now I want to go into let's go into those eyes now that we talk about it so I have like the brown it's pretty gooey I put a little bit of water in each of my um, paints before I started to activate them a little bit but now it's all about how much water is on your brush that you have more control so I'm gonna fill in all this because got so much in here he's got that big or she sorry Barbie she got that big smiley face that awesome happy smile that these bully bully dogs have dude just smiling at you how can you not smile back right I used to volunteer at, uh, up at the shelter um, in New York City, and sometimes they would be wagging their tail so hard just that, that, that they would be banging it against the side of the cage like they were beating a drum. They couldn't wait to see you, and you couldn't open the cage fast enough to, for them to be so excited to be out, and uh, we would walk them down to the park, and oh, they were so happy. Some of them would roll around the grass, and oh, there were that was ah, oh, you knew they were happy. They they were they were thanking you the whole way. Thank you for thank you for taking me volunteering and taking me out. And I would I would also advocate for them too. I'd say this one is this is a, this one's a keeper. You know, I, t I try to get people who are thinking about adopting, and um, I'd say this this one this particular dog, she she shouldn't be in a cage. She's too good. So now I'm doing the um, the brown mixed with a little bit of black. See how I don't have a lot of water on my brush? And I'm leaving that piece of white, that tiny piece of white in the eye. Uh, that shine. That uh, That's always like the little trick that keeps the pop. So just filling it up. But see, there's a little bit of white on the side of her eyes. that I'm just doing, I'm going to go across the top. I call it the doggy mascara. I go across the top. And I'm going to do a little bit underneath. I'm going to leave that little bit of white. Yeah. So, and the same thing on the other side. Just fill it in. I'll go back on top of it in a minute and do the darker. But I'm just, it's like a little bit of a brown mixed with the black. You know, you're doing, doing the iris. But I'm leaving a little bit of that white. The white for that shine in the eye. A little bit of the white for the iris. And then the little doggy mascara. I always say the little doggy mascara. And I know she got that. This Barbie, she's cute. I hope that Barbie is in a happy home right now, snuggled up. I bet she's sitting there snuggled up on somebody's couch, giving them love. I'm going to take that. I'm actually using that same color, and I'm I'm filling all that, the, the dog's gums. So you notice it's the same, that dark color that I mixed with a little black and brown. I'm using it on the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, and in the lip. So see how that goes underneath the tongue? You just kind of want to outline underneath the tongue. There you go. And it goes up. It turns in, there's a little pinkish in here, but there's an outline. I'm going to follow that. What I drew, you can just kind of follow the line when you trace the Pet Portrait Fun Kit. So now we're going to go back in and do a little bit of um, the, the darker colors. So I'm mixing, I'm, I'm actually taking that same color I did in the eye, and um, I'm mixing it with what I did in the body, the tan. And um. You can kind of follow some of the lines I drew here. I'm going to add a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit more orangey. And if it doesn't come out the right color, if it's too dark, you can always use your paper towel and, and dab it off. So the, the dogs always have this like kind of triangle underneath their eyes, shadow. And then I'm going to do the same thing. The, the, all the ears is pretty dark up in here. And both sides here. It's actually pretty dark in the ear, so I'm just kind of going. And then we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how to do that awesome. So th and this, I'm doing some shadows in here. Those muscles, those doggy, bully, bully muscles. And now I want to do a little bit of the white. There's some shadow in there, so I want to do a little bit. I'm adding teeny bit of black. You can use some of the black that you used before, and I'm adding a little bit of navy. That kind of eases up when I'm doing uh, gray. 
and I'm going to just do a little bit on the chest. Notice I keep dabbing my paper towel because I don't want it to be too strong. You don't want it to look bluey blue. But see how it's just a little bit of shadow and I'm just following the, the shadows of I'm just kind of go on the inside of his little of her um, all the white spots of her legs because you want to have a little bit I'm going to do that take that same blue with a tab of black because this part it's got a little gray in the muzzle too like yeah up in here yeah okay you know that's part on in the in the tongue is pretty dark so I'm going to mix a little bit of the red that I did before with a little bit of the brown and just kind of make that a little bit darker there okay so now I want to show you how to do oh that's our back paw I forgot about that back paw the back paw in there now I want to show you how to do that um I'm going to do a little bit see that that dark color I because I see this is dripping a little bit because it's uh, upright I always tell you do your uh, watercolors on a flat surface but um I'll let that dry try not to uh, go up against uh, the wet areas. Wait for that area to dry. Go to another area. So now I want to do the background. I'm going to I'm going to do a rainbow. Okay, and rainbow is a little trick. Is Roy G Biv, red, orange, yellow, R O Y, G green, Biv, blue, indigo, violet. So this is where you know we could do kind of have fun. I'm going to make a rainbow background. Start with the red. My my brush is pretty dry because I don't want it to drip. That's the red. Roy G. Biv. Orange. I told my little cousins in Ireland. Roy G. Biv. They love that. They were like, what is that? I said, that's the colors of the rainbow. So if you're ever drawing, there's a little trick. I remember that from, uh, I think it was biology and in uh, eighth or eighth grade, I think it was Roy G. Biv. I never forgot it. Roy G. Biv. Yeah, we'll do another bit of rainbow. I'll go right up to Barbie's head. Whatever color you do the back, you don't have to do a rainbow like this. But you will just go. Make sure that the dog is dry before you go up to the edge of it. And you just go right up to the edge, and you can drag the background and drag it up yellow doing the yellow a little bit of yellow see how it drags in there that's it drips it's cool it is a rainbow so it's almost like a sunset and do the yellow on this side Oop. Roy G Biv that's a happy we gotta do some kind of fun colors right because bring everybody's bring happiness back Roy Red, uh, red, orange, yellow, green. That's G. G for green. I don't know if it was somebody's name that we were supposed to be remembering, but why not? Okay. <laughs> G. There's the red. It's okay because it's dripping a little bit. That's okay. It can be kind of a tight effect. I always say, you know what? Sometimes the paint, especially with the background, half fun with the bathroom. If it's dripping, why not? That's kind of it looks kind of cool now. I wasn't expecting. Now it looks it kind of a tie dye effect. Roy G Biv blue. Now we're gonna do the blue for Biv. Bell Biv DeVoe. Anybody remember Bell Biv DeVoe? <laughs> Roy G Biv. Going right up to Doggy. See, I'm not touching the green just yet. It's pretty. It's pretty wet. I'm just letting it sit there for a second. I'll connect them in a second. But that, that green looks like it's ready to drip. All right, G, move. Blue. There's a few blues in this palette, so I'm going to use all the blues. So there's another one. Right up to the side of Barbie. And then, and then uh, the... Biv indigo. I guess it's kind of like what we would call our navy, navy blue indigo. We had to have a, I guess they had to put a, uh, a vowel like 
like uh, Wheel of Fortune. Can I buy a Val? Okay, right up there, right up to Barbie, to the side. Div, and then the bottom is. So now I'm going to connect those two, and they're dripping. <laughs> Uh, Biv, and then Violet. Biv, B, Violet. Okay. And there's the Violet. Go right up. And now, see whatever you do uh, with the white white dog, leave the white of the paw as the um, as the paper, and you just go up to the side. It's all about what you paint on the edge of it, and go right up to the edge, and the the the, the violet over here. I'm gonna put the violet all the way through. Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Okay, and I'm going to make sure I'm just going around the paws. I'm going to go back in there with the shadow. See how there's just shadow in there? I drew the shadow in there. I'm going to go back in there and do some of that, uh, that navy. There you go. Bring that navy down. Mix it in with a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's fun. So, I want you guys to uh, join me this Friday. I'm going to be doing a um, live paint your pet party, and um, through Zoom, you send me a picture of your pet. I will draw them for you and walk you step by step how to do it. Or you can just watch. You know, we'll 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 do a little sip and paint party. You do the sip, I do the paint, and. Um, It'll be fun. And we're actually doing a fundraiser for Boris and Horton, the awesome dog cafe uh, in the East Village. See? Doop. That's what your paper towel is for. Saves the day. And um, it's, uh, Boris and Horton's a place where I usually um, hold one of the places that I hold my um, paint your pet parties. I'm going to be doing some uh, fundraisers for those awesome venues. And... Um, I want you guys to uh, join me. So if you want a paint, me to paint your pet, just go to email me your pet at petportraitfun.com. And um, I'd love to see you guys. And we'll talk to you soon. All right. Keep safe. I'll speak to you then.